What's up, everybody? Today we are in the final world of Kirby. Uh, I almost call it Kirby in the Forgotten Land, but it's Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, I don't remember much about this world except for how it ends, so this will be interesting. I'm curious if it's going to be as hard as the last time, because the last time we got kind of destroyed. I don't know how else to put it. We got annihilated regularly. I'm sure I'm going to need some of these power-ups or a secret somewhere in here, but... Uh, right now, we're just kind of schmoozing. Gonna try to keep the hammer as long as we can. Anyway, how are you guys all doing? I have been in a very... I'm trying to do a short hop here. Yeah, like that. I've been in a very platform fighter kind of mood lately, so I've been playing like Rivals of Aether. And it's very fun. If you guys haven't played Rivals of Aether, you 100% should, particularly on PC where it has mod support. There's so many fun and interesting characters that people have created for the mods. It's very... Like... <coughs> there's like, speedrunner Mario that uses techniques from Mario 64 speedrunning and stuff like that. It's really, really funny. It's really fun. And there's like a... There's like a Breath of the Wild link that... You can pull up the tablet and you can change what rune you have equipped and it affects the gameplay. It's really cool. It is really cool. So... Um, is that a potential softlock area? Is there a chance that you could... I'm just trying to think, like, if you go through that door without having a hammer, how are you going to go down? Can you just break those blocks with, like, a normal slide or something? You must be able to. You must be able to. <coughs> but anyway, I'm so sick. It sucks. I mean, I'm not sick. I just have to cough. Like, I don't have, like, a fear, I don't have, like, a stomachache, I don't have anything like that. No, like, no problems like that, it's just the cough, constantly. Alright, we're fighting some bosses today. With some good music! I forgot how good this music is. No, I can't die here! Okay. Alright, let's see, can we get heals, please? Just, like, one heal? I'm gonna die to this enemy. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, I just didn't know when. <coughs> Alright, retry. Get me back in it. I'll beat, I'll beat him all normal. Oh man, I don't remember him moving this quickly. Okay, that was a good jump. Oh, the grab. I tried to tech. I genuinely tried to tech from Smash. Alright, I would have definitely tagged both of those if it was Smash. Okay. Alright. Roll. Stay in the air. Now he throws. I shoot. We good. Alright, and this will give me what? Throw? Backdrop? Okay. <coughs> throw and backdrop were always so cool because of the bandana, but they were always such, like, not interesting abilities. Oh man, this is gonna suck. This is, like, the hardest enemy in the whole game. Alright, I'm staying in the air, I'm staying in the air. Oh! You know what? Okay, hold on. Oh, my power is completely gone. Dude, he's, he's crush mying me. Okay, I can win. I just have to play as slow. Okay, that's too slow. Way too slow, I played it a little too slow. But we have 45 lives. 44, I mean. So, you guys ever pay attention to how, like, uh, some games, you have, like, 45, so let's say you have five lives, right, and then you, you use five, and then you're at zero, and then you basically have another life, so you essentially had, like, six. <coughs> but other games, it's like, you have five lives, use those five, and then as soon as it hits zero, the game's over. It's very odd that, I feel like that should be, like, a standard thing at this point. But it's still not a thing. I just I hate lives in general. I mean, in this game, it's not really an issue at all. I have so many lives. But, like, uh, even with all of the deaths I've been doing, I have so many lives still. But um, in other games, lives can just be annoying and make you replay content that you don't really want to replay. Okay. Okay. That's not... <laughs> this is not the strategy. <coughs> I'm sick of having this cough. I really am. Come back to me, Star. Okay. Alright. Couple more hits. We can make one mistake. I think we just stay in the air and then bait out a jump. 
Come on. Okay, good. Alright, one more, one more. We're doing pretty good, we're doing pretty good. Try to stay in the air and just avoid. Avoid, avoid, avoid. <coughs> avoid, deny, defend. What is it? You guys know about avoid, deny, defend, right? Yo, look at all these lives! All of the deaths I had on this level didn't mean anything! Okay, I'm floating. Um... Is there a secret here somewhere? Is this death? Yeah, okay, I'm not- I'm definitely not doing that. <coughs> oh no, my cough. Okay, um... I felt like I was supposed to run into, like, a switch somewhere. Do I have to beat all those guys without dying, or...? Is it on this area? Somewhere? Grab this. Oh my god. No. Okay. Um. I don't see any. Like, I'm thinking like this. No. None of this looks like a secret to me. I guess we'll just... Continue. See if there is actually a secret in this level or not. I'm pretty sure every level has a secret, <laughs> but I could be wrong. This could just be a level that's done. Yeah, okay. Alright, I was wrong. Alright, good. So I think I took the hard path through that level. Pretty sure there's, like, the bottom path is just the same enemies, but, like, less aggressive. So, did it for fun. You know what they say. Fun is what matters. Okay. Speaking of fun is what matters, <clears throat> how do you guys feel about the ever-growing divide in, like, multiplayer games, where <clears throat> every game series, like Call of Duty and Fortnite and everything, has become so hyper based on competition and competitive play. <coughs> like, com Call of Duty in particular always bothers me because it's, it's something I grew up playing a lot and it's a really fun game. But then it's like, uh... Now it's like, if you play even slightly better than average, you, you'll you get queued up with, like, the people who only care about winning so much that they use the top three guns only in the game, and every single match is, like, the exact same experience of, like, either use the most broken stuff, or you're not gonna get to play the game or have any kind of fun at all, and it's like, I just don't like that. And then stuff like Halo, where it's like, you know, they tried with Halo Infinite and Halo, uh, okay, I definitely missed a secret in this level, but I'm not sure where. <coughs> you know, they tried with, like, Halo Infinite and Halo 5 to make this, like, super hyper competitive Halo ex okay, I guess I didn't, like, hyper competitive Halo experiences, where it's, like, based on esports, and it's, like, you know, Halo was originally, like, a party game, right? Like, we, we would jump on Halo, and we would have fun just, like, jumping around the maps and driving cars into the people and stuff like that, you know? <coughs> it was like, the game was supposed to be fun first, and then, like, shooty shooty haha later. There was a ranked playlist, I mean, it had the similar rules to the normal playlist, but it wasn't ever, like... Uh, you know, comp competition first, PvP, you know, it's supposed to be for fun. That's the whole point of Halo, it's supposed to be a game that you play f oh. Wow, that couldn't have ended any worse. Okay, this time, this is free. But yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's very weird, it's very difficult to... You know, I've been having an issue of, like, I want to play multiplayer games, but <coughs> if I play, I really want a good shooter to play, but, like, every shooter is just, like, you either use the most broken stuff to compete with the people that are also using it, or you don't play the game, and then the stuff like Halo is, like, you know, I tried to play Halo 3 recently, and I, I played multiple games, and it's just, like, Basically just people camping with battle rifles in like the same spot in, in different maps and it's like there's vehicles on I, I, I queued for the non-precision game mode because it's supposed to be like more fun. 
and then people just immediately grab VR and just camp, and it's like... It's not, a. Uh, it's... I, how do I word it? It's like... It, it, the maps are supposed to, you're supposed to go around with the vehicles and, you know, get, like, perfect example was, you know, I had a teammate spawn next to me, he runs to a vehicle, he just gets in it and takes off without me, and I'm like, I shoot at him, and he doesn't stop, he drives right into the enemies, and then he just dies. And I'm like, yeah, that guy's dumb, don't get me wrong, but also, like, he did not care about any kind of fun there, he just wanted to drive the car into the people and fight them, because all that mattered was fighting. It's like, I don't know, dude. Oh god, I didn't think that would hit me so far away. Maybe I'm just a boomer at this point when it comes to multiplayer, but like... <coughs> I'm thinking about like, stuff like Halo 3 where it's... You know, there's like the bridge map in Halo 3 where on one of the sides you can do like a weird grenade jump to get in between the ledge that you're not supposed to be able to and... Stuff like that was so fun. The maps where there's like the secrets out of bounds, people would try to get out of bounds and I don't know. Just seemed it just everything feels so different now when it comes to multiplayer and it really doesn't Man, I'm just I'm so bad at Kirby, it's unbelievable. I think I'm just so well adjusted to the modern Kirby where it's like literally there's no challenge at all for most of the game. <coughs> Which, I mean, that's not a bad thing. Those games are still fun, but... This actually... I actually have to, like, react to things and try to actually play the game. Rather than just kind of, like, float around and do nothing. Which, I don't know, it's weird. I think that... But, yeah, basically, all I have left to say on that is... I don't know, shooting games and stuff like that have just gone so... Like, Counter-Strike's a great example of... You know, you used to have all these lobbies in, like, Counter-Strike 1.6 and Counter-Strike Source, where it was... The entire point was just to have fun. You know, you meet some people, you have the better people, you have the worst people, everyone has fun playing. And they get to play weird game modes occasionally, like... Uh... Huh, how am I gonna... How do... How? How am I ever gonna hit this? Maybe I'll try the... Laser power. Does it go through walls? No. How am I gonna? Ooh. Unsure about this one. How? Hmm. How? How? <laughs> That's my. Uh. Okay. I could use that. I guess. We'll try that. That could give me an edge. If I can get him to respawn. Okay. If I can get him to respawn and not be in suck mode. Okay, I think I can do like... That's not helpful. And also the guy respawning next to me. Oh, okay, you can't go into it from there. Dude, the enemy respawning in this game is trash! This, this is absolute nonsense. Okay, I, I honestly, I have no idea how to do this. This just doesn't seem possible. Because if you, it's like, there's no chance this is possible. How are you supposed to do this? <laughs> I, I don't have any idea. Dude, fuck this. I'm sorry for dropping an F-bomb, but like, <laughs> that, this is, the enemy respawning is just not fun in this game at all. It's so frustrating. Like, I'm just trying to solve a puzzle here. I'm not trying to deal with 14 enemies respawning in undodgeable circumstances. Like, this is dumb. I walked two inches to the left. He had three pixels to respawn on. I, I honestly, I don't know how to do this. Like, um, hmm. I'm trying to, like, there's like no, there's like no diagonals to shoot the laser off of. The only thing I have is like the dash, the fire dash from this guy. I could try like, no, and then I get hit in the back because the game's trash. <laughs> nah, the game's not bad, but like, 
the mechanics for this are absolutely horrible. There's no reason the enemy should respawn as soon as it goes off screen. That's just bad. I don't I don't I don't know. I feel like I have the right idea with with the dash here, but this seems incredibly harder than it ever is meant to be. And the guy hitting me in the back makes me think that maybe this isn't the right solution. I'm gonna be right back and try to solve this right now. So I am here, and the solution of this, I'm gonna die intentionally here. The solution of this seems pretty nonsense. So far I haven't really liked a lot of these like late game secrets. They're kind of just not good. I mean, from stuff that's like insanely difficult to see to stuff that's this, I don't even know if this is like what they intended when they made this, but this particularly seems very obnoxious. The fact that they want you to like drop this crash power up and then recapture it and then drop it and then recapture it. Okay, I might just die. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this guy to despawn. And I have to make it through the next two rooms with only one health. Which is definitely not gonna happen, and I'm gonna be kinda mad about it. Okay, there's enemies Alright, cool. Awesome. And now I have to redo it all again. Man, the ending of this game has just been not very good. Really, like, I, maybe I should just ignore the secrets and just try to finish the game, because this is kind of... This is just frustrating, this isn't like... Okay, awesome. <coughs> nice to know that there's no way to tell how far you gotta be away from these guys to not take damage, you just have to know. Yeah, honestly, the, I'm, this is... I'm genuinely frustrated at this level. This, this, par this in particular is just nonsense. This room right here, where it's like... Hey, you're gonna juggle this power up so that you can get it by because you need to use crash. <coughs> can you hit the wall, dude? Come on. Okay, well, he didn't even drop an enemy that time. Okay, this time you should. Yeah, this isn't that bad. But. Just as like a. Okay. Alright, dude. <laughs> hit the wall! Oh my lord! <laughs> Oh my freaking god. Like just hit okay. No, don't be get tired. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad that they have priority on that. I forgot that was a thing. Okay, don't get hit by the Don't fall down the pit, please. Alright, well, this is the end of my 100% run, because I'm just not having fun doing this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried my best, but Kirby, it defeated me. <laughs> it defeated my mindset. I will not succumb. To Actually, you know what? I'm not even finishing this level. We're out of here. I hope that up there... It oh, hey, this is like the original game. That's pretty cool. I, don't I didn't remember this. That's awesome. <coughs> um... I hope that up there in that cannon was just like some one-ups, <laughs> and that it wasn't actually like a secret button, because the door is, uh, the door's not red, which makes me think that it's not actually a secret, which is even more frustrating if that's not a button. Okay. You can see the star on the screen <laughs> from me shooting it out, but the damage took priority, I guess. Alright. Now that I'm not worried about that secret, I can go back to having fun. <coughs> that was just so frustrating. I was- I- I like- the secrets, like the last episode, I had to cut like three things out of me like just running around trying to figure out what to do. And that I had to- I had to like succumb to looking up like, alright, what- how do I do this? What's the solution? Because I didn't know that Crash could like this- the little uh, ropes on fire. I don't- I feel like that's never used in any of the other Kirby games. Usually you have access to some kind of fire power up and it's more about getting to the cannon rather than solving how to light it. But <coughs> either way, we're continuing on. I actually really like this level so far. This is cool. It's like a retread of all the game, all the levels from the Game Boy Color one, which 
Uh, I don't know how I feel about the original Game Boy Color one. I, I don't particularly think it's that great, but I don't think it's like bad either. Okay. I'm just tanking damage at this point. We're almost done. <laughs> it's over. And then I get to play a game that I'm really excited for. This game turned out to be like... Uh, I'm not saying worse than I thought. Or worse than I remembered it, but like... A lot less fun than I remember it as a kid. I think I probably had a lot more... Uh, like leniency for kind of nonsensical stuff like that as a kid because I had so much time and no like real world things going on so <coughs> well now it's like if I want to play Kirby okay well if there's a secret in this one I'm gonna go find it so I'll meet you at the secret all right I found the secret it was the moon right above the final door I I saw it as I was passing by and I looked at it, and I, and I was already heading into the final door, and I was like, uh, I might have just missed a secret. But we're here. <coughs> so I think that my final thoughts, really, on this game, as we're about to go into, like, the final battle, is that... Um, I think it probably went down on my list of favorite games. I didn't remember the ending placement being so brutal, where it's like, if you don't already know where everything is, you're gonna be taking hit after hit from stuff that's just spawning off screen. And then, like... The way the enemies respawn is absolutely unfun and just <laughs> needlessly tedious. I'm trying to get like a good power up here, but I don't know which ones are which. I wish that they all were just kind of like Kirby Superstar. <coughs> um, <coughs> kind of want a sword. If we could find a sword, it would be great. But yeah, so I think that my current Kirby list, this would probably be pretty like mid mid tier. I know that Kirby 64, Kirby Superstar Ultra, and Kirby Air Ride are the top dogs in my list, but after that, maybe Squeak Squad, and then Return to Dreamland, and then... Um, I feel like I'm missing another one that I really enjoyed. Hmm. Wow, we, there's really no- I'm taking laser. We're, we're taking laser and we're running with it. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, where's the warp stars? I can go back. Here it is. Okay, level 7. Alright, here we go. <coughs> Heading into the final boss. Hopefully I can beat it first try. But, you know how it is. I've been pretty bad the whole game. And we're in Super Smash Bros. Melee. The Fountain of Dreams for our showdown with King DDD. Or, as he is in the French version of Smash, Roy Daddy Do. Oh, okay. Not that. I need my laser back. We're, we're spamming him from across the stage like a true melee player. <laughs> we're basically Falco. This is literally pain <laughs> as a King DDD player. <laughs> As someone who plays like every character in Smash and has definitely played King DDD against Space Animals, this is awful. And with that, King DDD goes down. But he's not really the true end. We have level 8, the Fountain of Dreams, which is literally modeled after the melee version, I'm pretty sure. I mean, obviously. The melee version was modeled after the old games, but this one just looks extremely like the melee version, I'm pretty sure. But what's this? Oh my god, that spray of King DDD. <laughs> Where he's like shocked. I've seen that in thumbnails so far, or so many times, but we're up here. We got the Star Rod power. We're here to fight. Uh, I don't know if this thing has a name, but I, I love... Um, Kirby final bosses in general. <coughs> I don't know about you guys, but like, how Kirby final bosses always go from like, oh, look at this cute game to like, holy crap, this is kind of scary. I mean, not like, this one's not particularly scary or anything like that, relative to like, the final boss from Kirby 64 or, uh, 
Star Allies? I'm pretty sure Star Allies have the part where you, like, go inside, like, something that's, like, kind of fleshy and, like, looks like a body. I don't remember exactly. It's kind of blurry because I haven't played that game so long, but... Yeah, it's... It's crazy how Kirby games get so, like, kind of dark at the end. But they... They pull it off well, and it's really cool. It, it adds to the charm of it, because it's like... It really stands out relative to the rest of the game. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, we are here. What is this? The true final boss. With that, our star gets broken and we are on the ground with our true final boss here. I remember this fight being really cool. I don't remember it being too difficult, but I could be wrong. It could have just been a thing that's like I played it so much as a kid that it wasn't hard. But let's see. So far, I, I mean, I've done like half of his health and I haven't really. Nothing's really happened. I mean, if I die, I'm not particularly worried about it. Okay, that's a little bad. Now I'm kind of worried. Alright, over, over. Okay, not over. Probably should've just went under. Okay. Alright. Spawned on top of me while I was already in the air. That kind of sucks, but we're back. Thankfully, we don't have to redo Phase 1. Because <clears throat> Phase 1's not particularly exciting at all. Dude! This game, I'm telling you. It's getting- it gets lower on my list every single level for the past two worlds. I mean, like, I really enjoyed this game as a kid. Enough that I kept playing it over and over, but... Oh yeah, this game's definitely below Amazing Mirror, too. No question. After playing it. <coughs> but I still don't think it's bad. It's definitely not a bad Kirby game. It's just very... It's not what I remember it. I remember it being just, like, kind of a casual, fun experience, but, like... Man, some of the enemy placement, the enemies respawning, some of the secrets were not very casual friendly. <clears throat> I kind of wanted something more tame and relaxing after playing Ocarina of Time, but a lot of the time I was just kind of frustrated by getting hit by stuff like spawning off screen that I wasn't able to react to because I didn't know it was there ahead of time. So... Um, I just gotta play a little good here and I'll be fine. I think the stars do more damage than the rod itself does. Um, I don't remember that attack, so that was kind of scary. You gonna do another... Okay. Alright, I'm throwing. I might die, but it's gonna be close. Okay, good, good. We need one more hit. Please don't spawn on top. Nice, we did it. He's upside down. I believe that's the ending. I'm pretty sure we won. I can't believe I did it with one health left. Sheesh. Alright. 100% complete. Now you can choose extra from the start game menu. Wow, I actually 100%ed it. Okay, so that cannon that I spent so much time looking at. Oh my god, the moon's... The moon's gone! The whole planet's gonna be... The tides are gonna be changed, the oceans are gonna raise, and everything's gonna die! Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the Star Rod. <coughs> but King Dedede didn't mean any harm. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. <coughs> it all began when the nightmares appeared in the fountain. The nightmare wrote the nightmares rode the currents of the fountain of dreams. Wreaking havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. Look at King DDD. When King DDD hit the Star Rod, the power source of the Fountain of Dreams, he was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. Borrowing King DDD's power, Kirby managed to defeat the nightmares. Now that the Star Rod is returned to the fountain, everyone's dreams will return. So fluff up your pillow and get ready for a good night's sleep. Wow, he just throws it. I can't believe he has such good aim! He should play baseball. Is there a baseball Kirby power-up in any of the games? I don't remember, actually. I know there's, like, Yo-Yo, and there's Gun in the most recent ones. 
but like, that's crazy. Overall, I mean, I, I definitely enjoyed playing through this game. I think it was worth playing through it, but <coughs> I don't know. It's just some of the stuff was just so much like more obnoxious than I remember. It wasn't like terrible. Definitely not the worst Kirby game. Definitely not a bad game. But like just some of the decisions, I feel like it was intentionally made to kind of waste your time in some places. Like if we spawn enemies <clears throat> in ways that you can't know that they're there, it either forces you to slow down constantly or you're going to get hit by them and die more often and you're going to have to replay sections which makes the game feel longer than it actually is. So I don't know, it's, it's very weird. It's very weird. Uh, overall, I wonder how many of these problems with this game are results of just being basically copy and pasted stuff from the NES game because the NES was like very much we have to make stuff kind of nonsense so that it lasts longer so that you feel like you got your money's worth out of a game that's probably, probably I wonder how much this game launched at on the NES probably like 50 60 dollars I mean I know a lot of games launched at like like Earthbound I'm pretty sure Earthbound launched at like 90 dollars which is crazy because that's like 150 dollars for a single game today also, I've never used the ball power up a single time in my life. The ball power up is so useless, but <coughs> either way, the problems were still here in this game, so they could have, you know, made it less bad. Another thing is that like <coughs> they could have like taken stuff from Kirby Superstar and Kirby 64 and added it to this game since it's a remake instead of a like a port. Like, this is a full remake, so, like, why why aren't there, like, why can't you swing the sword in, like, multiple directions and do, like, up slash and down slash and stuff? Was that in Kirby Superstar? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was. But, like, if it wasn't, it should have been invented for this game. <laughs> now you can play a new sub-game, Boss Endurance, okay? So, returning to our save file, I just want to see that 100% to feel good about it. Hero of Lore. It's like the hero of time. Sub games. Um, fight the bosses and beat them. Wow. Now, extra mode. Play with half your vitality. I'm pretty sure if you beat extra mode, you unlock the ability to play through the whole game with Meta Knight. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching the series. Next up, it looks like we're going to be playing Metroid Prime, so I will see you then. Take care, everybody.